All right, guys, this is the morning after. <laughs> that doesn't sound. Yeah. yeah! You guys have to see this view. OMG. What the hell? Oh my God. The cruise ship is gone. The cruise ship? I, oh, that no, is no, the no, petroleum it's one. No, no, it's over there. Is it's it? Not, no, it's not that. No, that's not, not it. It's not it. Look at this view, you guys. And we're going outside to enjoy that weather. And there's not a soul out there. What? Not a soul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my last video with um, no one in the plane, no one at the airport. That was pretty cool. There's no one anywhere, <laughs> which we're enjoying uh, our time alone. So anyways, we're just going to go for a little walk outside real quick because we're running a little behind uh, because of my time zone difference. My girlfriend made me sleep in a little. Thank you, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness we have the three hours so when she wakes up at eight it's really five for me so that's kind of early but um let's go and have some breakfast and um and then we're gonna go and kind of re you know do our drills and see where we're at because i'm a little behind with that we kind of practiced last night and um yeah i definitely need a refresher so <laughs> But anyways, I'm getting closer to the beach. Let's go check it out. Sunny. <laughs> Where's the sun? Sunny. Okay, you guys, this is where we did our training, my girlfriend and I, and this brings back like the weirdest memory because we were here at 7.30 sharp with the, cut, the the shuttle. So if you guys are curious to see what their training center looks like, this is the entrance right here in Miramar. This is our headquarters too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... No, well, uh, it's not the same building. This one is the, the training building. The headquarters is another one. So it's kind of like a little private airport. You can see a lot of the jets over there. Now, this is the FBO. This is a private uh, airport. It this is a private FBO, airport. You, know? you got the tower right there. And if you guys ever train for our airline, uh, which I'm not in liberty to say. We have it. We have it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not as well to mention, but duh. Uh, it's kind of all over our necks. <laughs> But <laughs> um, this is what it would look like, and we are going to be doing our recurrent right in the buildings up there. So we're going to grab something to eat real quick. We have 30 minutes, um, and um, and uh, we're going to go through the drills in our facility. Obviously, it's I can't closed. film. Huh? It's closed. The restaurant. Oh, my God. So this is the area, you guys, that you would be training at, and you would be going through that building right over there. And that's where you would wait for your shuttle. So you've seen, I'm sure, most of my videos when I did the training. This is where we were. And so they're giving us a facility for, what, two hours from one to three? So this should be fun to just kind of uh, see our old props for training and uh, the, the simulator. Well, it's not really a simulator. Well, kind of it is. Yeah, it is. So I'm excited uh, to assist at class and to be able to you know, kind of do our thing, do our drills. So I'll keep you guys posted. I know I can't bring my phone in that facility, but um, we'll film probably afterwards when we're done, let you know how it went. <laughs> All right, wish us luck. Take care. Oh, look at our baby planes just sitting there waiting to be used. Oh, I'm sad. You little babies. All right, we're heading to the, uh, what do you call it? Macaroon. The macaroon room. Macaroon and macaroon. And we're not that many. I think we're a total of one, two, three, four, five. Um, and so I just found out my recurrent is not next weekend. They apparently changed it. So I emailed them to see what the new date. I'm glad so it's going to give me more time to study. Uh, so we're heading to that mock room. I can't film, but I'll let you guys know uh, how it went. Okay. 
All right, so no food since this morning. No food. <laughs> well, I had a shake, so. But uh, we're alive, you guys. We're heading back. <laughs> we made it two hours of drill. We had a great instructor who corrected us if we made any mistakes, and we didn't make any mistake. We're pros, right, honey? Absolutely. <laughs> we're absolutely. It was a small group. Uh, girls were very nice, and um, we learned a lot. So it's good to refresh our mind on things because sometimes, um, you know, the mind forgets if the mind does not practice. It's just like a police officer where they go to the range once every quarter, I believe, just to kind of get their handles on guns and, and firearms and whatnot. So it's the same thing with us. Um, very enlightening. Um, last time we were here was for training, and we're in a class of what, 40, 50? Sometimes they've combined two classes together and we only get a few turns and we get tested on that. So it's really nice that we had a little more time. We had two hours to practice. Um, I will come back. So the good thing is my scheduled recurrent next week is no longer, oh, they're, they're messaging me. Oh, I thought I'd check and I'll let you know when I'm doing it. So I thought it was gonna be next weekend, but I guess not. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so that'll give me more time and everything is in July. So that gives me the end of the month. So we'll be back for more practice until we get it perfect. We don't want to be failing that so we can continue being amazing flat attendants. <laughs> Bye. Bye headquarter. Now we're going to go eat some food. Now that Welcome dream. to Fort Lauderdale, you guys. This is so typical by the beach. It's always raining and it's always muggy and what are the words I'm looking for? It's just I don't know. overcast and kakai. Gross. Kakai. What is kakai? <laughs> kakai. It's kakai. It's kakai-ish. Kakai-ish is what I mean. It's just one of those. Yeah, you just gotta get used to it. And I'm forgetting that it gets like. Oh, uh, of course not. There's a new building. Yeah. Uh, Hard Rock Cafe that they used is... to have it in. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yes, I, I told what? you. Look at that guitar. This is no joke. What? I, I'm telling you. This what? is a new building. Oh my god. Uh, it looks like the guitar is like in the middle of the, the clouds. That is insane. They did a building. They had a hard rock here. Is this the one that they turned into a guitar? It's a hard rock, yes. Oh it's a hard rock cafe. That's insane. Oh my god. Okay, so besides the crazy um, weather, I wanted to talk to you guys about recurrent. So recurrent, I was just telling my friend, is like a dog bite. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but you know when a dog bites you as a child or even as an adult, every time you go past that house where that dog bit you, you get that anxiety feeling, you get that nervousness, you get the sweaty palms, you get, <laughs> well, this is how it felt when we walked in. Uh, we walked in and it, it just- you every time. Every time. Seriously, the palms, sweaty palms, yeah, the yeah. nerves, you start shaking yeah, yeah. and you're being judged whether you are or not because we weren't being judged. We were there to be told what we're doing wrong. It was a prep class. It, it's kind of like a prep class, exactly, in a mock area. Now I'll show you guys a tiny little picture right here of what it kind of looks like. I mean, we took a slight little picture. And so I'll show you the picture right here. Uh, now you walk in and you've got pilots in a simulator. And then next to that, you have half of a plane, okay? So some people in some areas, I believe some other airlines have an entire plane to practice. We don't, we have half of a plane, which I think they are working on making that mock area much bigger from what I heard uh, when we were in training a while back, um, but they haven't done that yet. Um, now I just found out that my recurrent is next month, exactly a month from today and it's gonna be in Dallas, Fort Worth. So they are flying me out of Orlando to Dallas to do my recurrent. And then, so they're flying me the day before, I get to sleep one night right in a hotel. Yes. She's done it. Um, and then I get to do my recurrent and then they fly me the next day because the, the recurrent is all day. So <clears throat> I will go to one more practice. Probably I'll, I'll be back here to practice again. Um, and so it was, so as I was saying, you walk in, you get this anxiety from class, because remember, we only practice, what, one day. So it, it, it was very crammed when we were studying. We, it's a four to five week intensive training, but you only have one day where you are faced 
So you're looking at the teacher doing what you know they're teaching you what to do, and then you basically have to do it yourself. So and then you remember a class is filled with people, and you have one shot at it. And if you make a mistake, they'll correct you, but then they're moving on to the next. So did that give you enough time to practice? No. And then they test you. I passed all the tests. Yes, I did. This was way back. Okay. And yes, we do fly. And no, there aren't any emergency for you to practice these drills. Right? Correct. Unless you blow a freaking a slice. <laughs> but um, obviously, when you're lead, you have more chances of doing that because the lead basically is in front of the plane and she's the one who's closing and opening the door. Which, by the way, I haven't been able to be a lead because I haven't flown enough to be uh, a lead. But you can be a lead at any time. So, um, five ninety five, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get on that highway. Anyways, so what all the, this said, it was very nerve wracking. Even though the teacher was there to correct you, you have to remember your drill, and every little detail counts. You gotta assess. You know, with your hands, you gotta look. You gotta press the alarms. You gotta know how to put your feet. Um, you'll have to remember all of that every little details you miss a detail they will have you redo it up to three times now if you don't get it on the third time you've completely failed so let's say you're close to the end of the day and you, you're doing drills you fail you are done you go home and you basically are disqualified now they're nice enough to give you an extension they'll give you one more try if you fail that you're done your career is over so it's very stressful it's always been stressful this world is go 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 quick 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 learn fast or else you're out so if you guys are slow learning like I am because I had to take CoQ10 during <laughs> training <laughs> I can't even remember people's name I mean come on um the good thing is a lot of these people that were there are feeling the same way so you're not alone now this one is the brain of the operation she knew it all She was even teaching the teacher. She's like, oh yeah, eight to... She didn't even know that there was an eight to 10 sec on the red light and I had to tell her. You see, I... some people read the reviles. <laughs> no, but she was very nice. She was very sweet. She was a sweetheart. Yes. Um, she was very I, patient. I really like her, but, but you know, sometimes you have a bulletin that, you know, you didn't read and... A bulletin. Bulletin, yes, what did I say? Yeah, you said bulletin. Um, well, I I'm love Italian, her accent, so bulletin. The... I'm Italian, my, my I'm Italian my too, accent. but I don't say bulletin. <laughs> I love to bust or chop because she's so choppably busty. <laughs> busty. Oh, yeah, she's busty too. <laughs> because I did it to you at the macaroon. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's like, the ma <laughs> the oh, yeah, this is the macaroon. I'm like, what? Macaroon? What? What? <laughs> Mac the macaroon. The macaroon. Cheese. <laughs> like, well, that's what you call it, the macaroon. So, anyways, as I was saying, you walk in there, you are shaking, and you know what you're doing, but you just, everything goes away. Like, literally, it's like. <laughs> You know, we're good under pressure. Oh, shit. I was, I was shaking all the time. Yeah, but you did good under pressure. I usually am really confident and good when I know something. But I had forgotten. I can't believe I'm even admitting it. Um, yeah, if you don't practice it, you forget. It is what it is. It's reality. And that's why we do these, just to refresh your mind on things. Now, um, you know, come down to an emergency. Will we know it, you know, word by word? Probably. Or probably not. But we know the main you know, the, the, the basics. So if you need to get out, we'll tell you to get out. And that's what's important. Um, so anyways, um, it was very interesting and it's good to be corrected by someone that knows more. So, you know, you, you know not to make the right mistakes, the same mistakes. And she, I was gonna say she may be the one testing us, but now I'm doing it in Dallas and she's kind of doing it here. So I'm not gonna have her. <laughs> uh, but she did go through a lot of the stuff that we needed. Now, two hours was not enough, right? Isn't it weird? We were only four people total. Uh, no, we were. It was good time anyway because. Uh, I just feel like it wasn't doors, long enough, though. We practiced twice each drill, and it was already two hours was gone. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And we there's some things we didn't even do. Um, so I do want to go back and just kind of finish off and redo them just so that they, they're implemented. And I think as the years go on, it'll be easier. This is like my first recurrence. It was a little stressful. I don't know what to expect. And it's good that they offer these. Um, so hopefully we can go to the next one together again yeah, and do yeah, this again. Absolutely. No, Starting to get expensive with hotels and whatnot. But yeah. It's not expensive. I know, but I'm just saying when you don't work, 
that's what happens. But anyways, um, so you guys, if you want to do, if you want to be a flight attendant, remember you will have recurrent, okay? And that's not something that is to be taken lightly because they are testing you to see if you remember everything. Um, and if it's, that's why they tell you once you graduate, practice, practice every single time you fly. Um, now we do our pre-checks, but it just comes automatic. I know what to look for. Now to look for something and to verbalize something is two different things. So you could be looking at a door and you know exactly what you're doing, or you could be looking at a, um, halon or whatever it is that a PBE, and then you know what you're looking for. But when you have to verbalize it, it's two different story. So that's something you guys got to pay because attention. You have to do them Exactly. You have to know the steps. You have to verbalize, say it, and somebody is watching you and testing you. So whenever you get tested, it gets a little bit tricky and stressful. But with that said, um, I think I, for the ninth time I'm saying we're going to go eat. It is already 3.30. <laughs> it's since last night we're seeing we're going to eat since last night. Yeah. So <laughs> let me tell you about oh last night. She picked me up. I, I didn't eat much other than that salad. And so we went to the hotel. They weren't serving food anymore because of the curfew. <sighs> and then, um, and then I ended up ordering something which I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted a grilled chicken, and they ended up giving me a fried chicken. And you know, I'm trying to eat healthy. So then I'm like, well, wake up early and have great breakfast, and then we'll go work out. <laughs> well, she nicely let me sleep because she knows I have the time difference of three hours. So when it's 11 or when it's 10 here, it's really what seven my time. Uh, she made me sleep in, but it was time for us to check out and basically come here. So by the time I took a shower and got ready, we went downstairs for breakfast. They were only offering some sandwiches, which I thought was a good idea. Let's just get it out of the way. But Missy said, let's just go and get something better, which I agreed. And so we went to get something better. We had a pickup truck. <laughs> but by the time we found a place to eat, it was time for us to be there and the freaking panic settled. I should have freaking... I should have filmed you. What the fuck? We were like, <laughs> traffic got in the way. We didn't want to be late. And so we ended up not eating breakfast. Um, so I had, lunch. I had a shake. That was lunch. Was, yeah, that was lunch. The, the breakfast was a, took already packed. She didn't have anything. Like, literally, I don't know how she even is alive because I would be dying. We're still, I'm, I'm, I haven't eaten since last night at probably 6 o'clock. That's why she looks the way she looks. Good. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You look good. But you don't want to starve yourself either because you want all the vitamins. No, and... I was so stressed, so tense that I'm not even hungry right now. Yeah, see what it does to you? Being flat attendants, getting low pay, every and getting stressed year. every freaking time every year. Once a year, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Hopefully, it'll stay. You know, I'll give myself some tricks and do a board and, and try to do a little bit like you did just to kind of... Anyway. So, we are finally heading to eat. We were like four minutes away from my favorite restaurant in Florida. minutes. Which is, no, we were four, four minutes away from right after training. We were gonna go to Pollo Tropical, which is my favorite. But uh, I decided, hey, let's go to where I live so I could show you where I lived. And um, there's an amazing restaurant if it's still open. <laughs> Oh my, my god. god, this was like I 10 don't years think ago. that it's gonna be open. We're gonna go to Orlando. Are we gonna have a dinner tonight? I moved in and it's <laughs> no, 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 no. I moved no, 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 we can't go without eating. This, no, seriously. Okay, so I moved out here in, in 1999, so almost 2000, and I left here and I got married in 2006. So I moved for my ex husband and stayed in Arizona ever since. Um, so I lived here for about six exactly. years. So it's time to come back to Florida. I know, I wanna go back to Florida. I love it so much. I don't miss this weather though. It's, it never rains in, uh, in Arizona. We have a, you know, the monsoon, whatever you call it, the crazy weather. Okay, so. <clears throat> so Coral Springs, Miami. Oh my God, this oh, is even cool. Even cool. Yeah, we're perfect. No, we're almost there. Then you're gonna go. As if you're going to Miami and then you're gonna take Weston. That's where I used to live, it's so exciting. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how the weather is. Like seriously. I'm like, I'm seriously trying. This weather sucks. Get off. Hey, we're supposed to take so many times. What are we gonna do? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, we need five Naples. Oh yeah, you don't wanna take Naples, that's right. All right, guys.
guys, so as we get closer to where I used to live, maybe I'll give you a little tour. If it could stop raining, because it is crazy. Look at that. The rain is nuts in this. But it should clear, clear up a little bit because we're not as close to the beach anymore. So we're all the way west. But anyways, we current is crazy, you guys. And we were not even tested. Uh, we were just helped by a instructor and it was just as stressful as being tested. So, oh my gosh. And we have to go through again when we really get tested. So, but it was a nice experience overall. Definitely something to take into consideration. Oh my gosh. What? Welcome to Florida. Look at this weather. from Orlando all the way to Fort Lauderdale in this okay. crazy weather. It's safe, like you can't even see in front of you. Oh, crap. Oh my God, guys, we're here. La Granja, my favorite restaurant. This is where I used to live. No, the wrong one, it's Mercado. Yeah, this is La Granja. This is my favorite, oh my gosh, you guys, look at, check out the chicken. I know this is leftover stuff, but. Holy crap, La Grancha! Oh, oh this, oh, they extended it. Look at that. They extended it. They made it bigger because it's so... This place has a very, very sentimental value. They have the best chicken in the world. I'm hungry, I'm starving. I know, I know. I know. Since last night. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. They grill the chicken just like Pollo Tropical. And then they have like all of the, oh, they don't have to serve anything anymore. Oh, they have the big bowls of rice and that chicken is unreal. Gotta check out the menu. I hate that I can't flip. So I just go, oh my God. Look at that. The food was amazing, you guys. I'm sorry, I was too hungry ah, to okay. leave the chicken right. well, to show you guys the food. All right, baby, okay. Unbelievable. Uh, give you the money for the pizza. Oh my God, and so uh, amazing. Now we're heading to Orlando in this crazy weather. It's getting better now, but it was really nice to be here. Staying at the Double Tree today, and um, Gisha, beautiful fountain. Um, courtesy of my girlfriend here, who got something really, really close, basically a bridge away from Universal. So we're really close. Um, the suitcase sat for about three hours in the crazy rain. Finally made it safe here, and here it's not raining. So hopefully, do you think they received a lot of rain here or no? <sighs> we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. So we're gonna go to City Walk, meet up with our girlfriend Rachel, who's a lot of fun. She's from the OG tribe, original baby OG. And then uh, we're gonna enjoy those cookies, cookies and water bottle. Oh my gosh, can't wait to eat those. Did she say chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're usually for VIP. 
diamond or whatnot, whatever they are. But we kind of got a little special. All right, we're here, we're out. We're about to have a good time. We're gonna go and hang out right over here, but they kicked us out because it is past the curfew. So here's Rachel, Wait, here's Marielle. Oh, oh, we're taking pictures. Oh, we're taking no, it's blurry. Oh, no, it's <laughs> and we're so sad. What should we my, do? We should, that should is we go? my bad. Sure. All right, we're here, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna have something to eat. We have half an hour to eat. Today was the subject of today was eating. 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 Can we find a place I mean, to eat? Yes, and if we can, you made me starve. <laughs> I made her side. Yes. It's, it's last night. <laughs> <laughs> So we got 30 minutes to scoff down the food and bring it or bring it back to the hotel room. So yeah. good luck.